Hey guys and girls, Mac Guy Jaren here with my first official YouTube video. I've been going back and forth for about a year now on whether or not I should make videos about all the Macs and PCs that I take apart and to sell. And uh, finally, I decided that I would give it a shot. Um, today, I'm going to be working on this 2008 MacBook Pro. Uh, I purchased it on eBay. The seller had it listed for parts and said it wasn't working. And uh, when it arrived, the Mac came all unscrewed and half taken apart with all the screws inside this little baggie. Let's get into the nitty gritty and start off by taking the top case off and giving this 2008 MacBook a little bit of a internal cleaning. It's not too dirty. I'm going to take the RAM out, make sure that there's no damage to the RAM while I'm cleaning out the inside of the computer. I'm going to start off by taking some compressed air and spraying it over the top of the logic board, making sure I get into the fans, anywhere that dust, dust kind of collects around the computer. Turns out I think this one was already cleaned up a little bit. I think someone tried to work on it originally, um, so it wasn't very dirty. And then I decided to head on over to Amazon and snag a 120 gigabyte Kingston SSD. Uh, I think they were only like $20 at the time. So we'll go ahead and take the screws that came with the computer and screw them in to the SSD. Then we'll take the uh, cable that plugs into the computer and uh, the hard drive. Go ahead and uh, stick those in, and uh, then we'll screw down the little bracket off the right-hand side of the SSD that holds it all into place. And then I'm going to make sure that uh, these two connectors are fastened in, make sure that's stuck to the top of the SSD. And then we're going to go ahead and throw the top case on. It's got the keyboard and the power button. You just got to make sure that you properly align it. And then there's this little cable at the top that you got to plug into the logic board that operates the trackpad and the keyboard. Uh, do that gently. Make sure you don't force it. To, you don't want to damage the logic board. And then you go ahead and you lay it down with this particular year. You got to make sure that those screw holes line up on the inside of the bottom case, or else they'll be hanging out the sides and you won't be able to get it back together. And we're going to go ahead and reinstall the RAM back into the computer. It's got two one gigabyte DDR2 RAM. They just snap right in like that. And then it was right about at this time that I realized this Mac was not going to power on by just the power adapter. I'm not sure if I had the wrong power adapter or if this computer requires that you have a battery before it will power on. It just so happens that I have another 2008 MacBook Pro sitting in the back and I'm just gonna snag the battery out of it for testing purposes. 
to make sure that we can get this one to at least give us a white screen. I'm going to go ahead and take that battery out, stick it back, or stick that battery into the computer I'm working on, and voila, we got a white screen, which is what we wanted. So now I'm going to go grab my El Capitan, which is the newest version of Mac OS that is officially supported on this 2008 MacBook Pro. I have all of the versions of Mac OS 10 on USB drives so that I don't have to do and create a USB drive every time I want to do an install. You just hold the Alt button or the Option button while it's booting up. You'll see the drive. You go ahead and click on it and then it will take you to the recovery menu which gives you the option to install whatever version of Mac OS you're going to install. I'll probably upload a video later on of how to actually create a USB bootable installation. When we get into the recovery menu we're going to have to go over to disk utilities and we're going to need to format the SSD that we just installed. We need to format it to Mac OS Extended Journaled so that we can then install uh, OS 10 El Capitan onto the computer. And then once that's done, we can go ahead and exit out of Disk Utility. We can go ahead and proceed with the installation of El Capitan. Just make sure you select the SSD or whatever hard drive. And after 30-ish minutes or so, it will be installed. As you can see, we were able to get it to boot up. So this model is a 15-inch MacBook Pro. It's got a 2.5 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo uh, with 2 gigabytes, a 667 megahertz DDR2 RAM, and it's sporting an NVIDIA GeForce 8600M GT. Not really impressive by today's standard, but in 2008, it got the job done. Now we're going to go ahead and finish assembling the computer because we were able to get it up and running and verify that everything was working on it. Then we got to go ahead and screw all of the screws in that go around the exterior of the computer that holds the top case to the bottom case. And then I went ahead and ordered a brand new off-brand battery before we install the battery we got to make sure that we put the plate that covers the RAM back on just takes these three little screws and then we're able to just slide the battery right into place this is back before Apple decided that everything needed to be integrated and soldered in and non-user repairable. Then we'll go ahead and power it on, plug in the battery or the power adapter. And she did exactly what she was supposed to do. She booted right into El Capitan do a final test, make sure everything works. The neat thing about the 2008 MacBook Pro is it's still pretty usable. Um, 
if you throw an SSD in and you can even upgrade the RAM to four gigabytes if you do both of those things it's a pretty quick computer still it'll do Safari just fine I was able to pull up website um, still hey it also has the App Store um, so you can pretty much do any kind of basic computing with uh, some minor tweaks to a 2008 uh, MacBook Pro. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean it and get it what I like to call ready to resell. Throw some denatured alcohol across the top, make sure we get off fingerprints, any kind of grime, nastiness. Then we're going to go ahead and take some more denatured alcohol and rub down the top case, the keyboards, make sure we get anything that's in between the keys. We're going to give the screen a good wipe down. And we'll flip it over, give the back a good once, twice, maybe three times over, make sure there's no grime and dirt on there. And then just like that, we've got a refurbished, restored 2008 MacBook Pro that's ready to be resold. Thank you to everyone who took the time to watch my first YouTube video. You have no idea how much it means. Uh, I'm excited to make more. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, again, this is Mac Guy Jaron, and see you next time.